How you doing? Stefan Blue Bay Resort and CanadianTinyHome.ca. Um, I got it all boarded up. So I did most of all of this uh, using templates. I um, kind of did a clean up because I'm done uh, for a while. <coughs> so my templates are pretty much right here. I got three templates right here. I used uh, the, lat the latest, the last one that I built was uh, the thing that I was cutting the boards with, these boards. And I cut, cut them all up and I put them all in. And then I have this one, this triangle right here that's on top there, that was for the inside frames, like these guys right there. And then the big one, the big behind this, this template right here. Oop was for the uh, outside, which you can see right here. Like these two triangles right there, for an example, this one and that one, this triangle right here and that triangle right there, that was done with that template. I was, I was doing two triangles at a time with the bigger, with the outside one. Uh, because the reason I was doing it with one instead of two, if you can see, it's like, it's it's flat, it doesn't curve. So that's why I could do that. But the inside one, because I put all these perlines, I just did this, uh, the smaller triangle. So this is pretty much where the window's gonna be. That's the roof, the door to come in. So I got two matching big bay windows type of thing on both sides. I think they're gonna be easy to, to put a curtain on, on it. That's why I decided to go this way. And this side here. Now, like, there's many ways of doing this. I could have put the wall the other way around or I could have done this wall right here uh, a different angle than what it is right now. Uh, but with this, one in particular where you're coming in and you put the couch where that, that seat is, a bar where that table is, kitchen right here between these two uh, where, where the indent is and this is the, this will be the plan. And then this will be the 3D. that table right there I kind of put that table just to give an idea just to give a feel and you know, I get a feel of of the space so if you go around this table then you're gonna have the doors to the bathroom and come in probably where that you see the where this window is there around right there probably gonna be a small sink not too big because it just because I'd like to put shower here toilet right here and for the people that want to buy this as a tiny home, I think I could fit with no um, a washing machine, like the washer dryer combo that the washer and dryer in one, just a one one machine that does both could definitely fit right there in this in this uh, corner right there. So that's the idea. That's why it's the only place I can kind of put it. So if uh, that's the case that you, you want to have this as a a tiny home you can also have a loft right there and skylights skylights are those four triangles so the nice thing is it and on the loft if you put like a queen size bed could fit right there no problem uh you're looking in right right in the sky like the, the skylights are right above you idea this is what you'd be looking at through those two triangles or, or, or if you, you you could even see a bit more if you just back up a little bit so that's kind of the coolness about this and and I have probably a surprise uh, I'll see if I can get something um, don't want to talk about it right now but well, well why not I'm thinking of doing a catamaran net from here, I'm gonna go around above those windows and above the door right here. So on top here would be a mesh 
that you can get on and just lay down on it. You can still see through it. So it makes it look like it's a big room, but it gives you a little bit more space to lay down and, and uh, relax. Our kids, I think, would have some fun if we had a catamaran net on top here. Uh, it's an idea. Hopefully uh, I get it through. And this would be the bedroom. Uh, this corner right here is gonna be a PAX closet. It's gonna go close to the door frame. It's gonna cover that corner. Uh, just to put your clothes in. Enough room for a queen size bed. Maybe a king, but if you put a king, then you're, you're taking most of this corner here. <laughs> King, uh, queen size, you would have some space on both sides of your uh, bed to, to walk around. This is what we'll do. We will put a king size bed, I mean a queen size bed in um, at Blue Bayou Resort because it's easier to make the bed for us. That will be the window in this room and might be a bit more space area here for like a... Uh, um, a dresser or, or whatever we'll figure it out when we build it so it's pretty a uh, nice size again this will be the couch I will have ladder to go upstairs right here I can put a TV on a swivel right here so that it could you know turn and face the couch type of thing or if you're sitting at the table you want to watch a hockey game or something. Um, and then cabinets, kitchen. So it's 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 got all the function uh, for for you know a young couple, or when you come and see us at Blue Bayou, it, this is perfect for for um, for renting for a few nights. And it would be a fridge and and all that. So if you're interested, uh, send me uh, an email and I'll uh, get in contact with you and we can get started on your new home. So give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on YouTube and Facebook and uh, we'll see you next time. Stefan from Blue Bayou Resort, CanadianTinyHome.ca. Have a good day.